Hi everyone, this is David and in this video I'm going to try to help you fix the no text found error when using Whisper in subtitle edit on Windows. Now, I don't know what works, I'm not a programmer, uh, but I'll try and see if I can replicate what I did. I did a couple of steps, but I don't know in what order I did them, but I do have like a text document on screen uh, where I show you I did download and install Python, I installed pip. I installed git for windows and then I installed whisper via command line and then if this doesn't work for you I don't know what worked so that's why I'm putting in everything you'll need to install ffmpeg although you've already installed it on subtitle edit uh, for some strange reason it doesn't recognize it or anything of that sort I don't know what works but I'm hoping that this is going to sort you out so we're going to use chocolatey I don't know if that's the name and then we're going to use PowerShell to execute this particular command and then we can install ffmpeg from there. Now, I may not do all the steps because I already have everything installed but I'll show you uh, how everything needs to look like. For example, you need to download and install Python. Now, if I, I type a command prompt, you cmd, if I type Python space a dash a dash and then version and press an enter you should get a version if you've already installed python so i'll leave the links below uh th this is the latest version of python python 3.10.8 and to download it just scroll down and if you're on windows either 32 bit or 64 bit you just click on this and it starts downloading and once it's done downloading you install it so that is step one uh, i think i actually just clicked on it or something but that is step number one you download and install Python that's done so once once you're done downloading and installing if you actually run the command Python space dash dash version you should get the version of Python you've installed so that's okay the second step is you need to download and install pip and just follow the instructions there is a link below uh, where you can get pip and if we go to that link right here how to install pip to manage python packages on windows and pip is a package management system uh, used to install and manage software packages written in python so uh, you go to windows x run and you run command prompt now uh, type in the following uh, uh, pip help if you do that let's do that pip help if you don't see what you're seeing right now on screen and you see what is available here pip is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file then you'll know that you don't have pip so you'll need to copy this particular link and then once you copy it paste it right inside there and press on enter and it's going to go uh, uh, do whatever it's going to do and then the next step is the next step is installing pip python get pip everything is step by step uh, right inside here and it's installed and then if you verify your installation uh, by typing again uh, let's say pip help once you've done uh, everything pip help you should get something like this so you should see something of the sort the commands available and whatnot uh, you may also need to add this to your system environment variables and so on and so forth and this is where probably things might get a little bit tricky uh, I'm not so sure if you need to do all this but you just need to follow what is on screen so that is PIP and I believe I did all that it's just that I can't remember uh, because I had to do a lot of things to just get whisper to work next up you'll need to download git for windows uh, so this is another link again uh, for you to install and use Git on Windows. It's a widely used open source software tracking application used to track projects across different teams and revision levels. So prerequisites, administrator, privileges, etc. So you just download from this, click the download link and allow, and allow the download to complete, extract and launch Git installer. Yes it's it's just an installer installable file and so on and so forth you can set everything here 
you can set the menu folder and so on and so forth just let it run as you see from here uh, you can allow all these options and just keep going it's just that you have to follow a lot of things uh, right inside here uh, step by step so that is git now once you're done with that we'll need to install whisper via command line so uh, let's actually even close this instance let's just get another cmd so see this particular code right here pip install git plus https whatever uh, you now need to install pip and let's go to the open ai whisper this particular code right here under the setup you just copy it you just copy it and then install control v to paste it right there press on enter and it installs now let's do the following because i already have whisper installed if i just type whisper that's what i get once you install whisper you should be able to get something of this sort uh, the usage whatnot the models etc and so on and so forth the languages supported etc so you'll need to download and install whisper via command line it's pretty straightforward now once you do that you can restart your computer or something of the sort and then try and see if subtitle edit does work sometimes i noted that it was working let's see uh it was working uh, with that let's say it was working so you'd get this and then once you start doing your thing here you'd get maybe something like no text found or whatever now this is where we go to the next step uh, because i feel that uh, the next step probably is what solved this issue for me i'm not sure and that's why i began this video by saying i don't know what really worked so it's going to be more or less of a try and error uh, uh, during uh, this period. Uh, so what I did next is our next step here is should work, but if it doesn't proceed below. So you may need to manually install FFmpeg via PowerShell. Now, what I'm using right here is this particular uh, setup section via Open Whisper. It requires command line tool FFmpeg to be installed on your computer which is available from uh, most package managers on Ubuntu, uh, Cleanark, Mac OS, Windows using Chocolatey or using Scoop, whichever you want to use. So uh, we're going to go to Chocolatey, this particular website here, and I'm leaving everything straight to the pages that are of uh, reference right uh, that you need to go to. So uh, from that, you'll go for just this particular code. This is the only thing that you need. So use chocolatey uh, and this is the code but you'll need powershell for that so you can just type in windows powershell right click on this and run as administrator click yes we can just close this out and this is the administrator window powershell we go back to the chocolatey website copy this code and paste it inside right here if you press on enter if you get these uh, yellow writings on black, warning, Choco was found at C program data, whatever, it's already installed. Warning, an existing chocolatey installation was detected. Installation will not continue. So if you get this, because I had already installed it, then you already have it ready there. So the next step is uh, go back to the OpenAI Whisper website, is go to this particular command, copy, Choco install FFmpeg, whatnot. Come here, paste it, press on enter. Installing uh, FFmpeg is already installed. Use dash dash force to reinstall. Specify a version to install or try to upgrade. So if you don't have it already installed, you'll need uh, now to install it manually like that. But uh, since I already have it, there's no need for that. And then the final step might be to say, yes to maybe running a script or something of that sort once you do that i'd probably recommend you restart your computer and so on and so forth and then once it's done maybe subtitle edit is going to recognize all that you've done all your hard work and whisper is going to work but as far as i'm concerned this is more or less what i followed 
but mixed up here and there so i'm not exactly sure what worked but as for these methods right here the first like four steps these four these four methods i followed them in that particular order but i'm not so sure uh, when i did this but i do remember i did this uh, windows powershell uh, kind of thing uh, right there so maybe this is going to answer a lot of questions to people who are asking me what can we do to the no text no text found kind of error when trying to use uh, whisper i hope this does help i'm going to leave everything downloads for python how to download install pip for python git just follow the on-screen prompts open ai whisper to download git and then the website for chocolatey to get this particular code and if you run into an issue or whatnot there are all these things that you can see uh, right here and then uh what else to uh, install ffmpeg but i do believe if i'm not mistaken the latest versions of subtitle edit 3.6.10 are actually recognizing where ffmpeg is when you want to use whisper you don't need to do all this but in case just follow this i'll put this i believe in the description below if you want to follow uh it's just jumbled up text but i hope that this helps you out uh and you'll no longer get the no text uh, uh found error when trying to use whisper so that's it from me my name is david and i hope this is of value to you thanks for watching